Good day. Sorry, this uh, video doesn't start on the beach. Um, the intro is not on the beach, but what is the date today? 2nd October 2019. Shed season closed yesterday, and today was a beautiful day for fishing. So, um, yeah, we have to start targeting wave garricks to get the breakfast pot cooking and uh, anyway we woke up this morning yeah, at 13 Katonkel Street with the little hippo remember the one that used to be injured in July the bad leg injury it's all better now it was sleeping there um, at Katonkel Street quite a few leeches on it so um, I didn't know leeches survive in marine water but uh, apparently they do we here's the video let's have a look Goeie more wat maak die bloed seier daartie in jou oog kan ek om vir jou kom afhaal Ha? <laughs> huh? Och, jy kan maar bykie slaap. Hoor, ons is gewoond jy slaap hier by ons. The hippo sleeping in Katonkel Street 13, like it does regularly. But it's becoming a problem because he's getting too used to humans. And the previous one had to be destroyed because of that very reason. He must bid that doctor from Cape Town. Ja, jy is moog. He's tired, we know that. It's the same hippo that um, was sleeping here about a month ago with the hurt front leg, the left front leg. And then uh, Dr. Dave didn't want to do much against it or for the front leg. And um, quite rightfully so, he pointed out that the healing power of the liquid that the, sick, the hippo secretes is a better antibiotic antiseptic than anything he carries on him in person. Scientists are still trying to develop the healing power of the hippo sweat. They're trying to recreate it. That um, went to the beach and watched the boat launch. Berno found an excellent spot this morning for the boats to launch. It was a breeze. And um, with Numzan being all repaired, um, there was no hiccups with Charter 1 and 3 being launched. And um, yeah, I see that uh, a lot of South Africans is now supporting to support the whale watching. Thanks guys. Those guys on the YouTube channel that support them. Thanks very much. Um, they make this little video possible. So we can talk about St. Lucia and what is happening. Let's go to the boat launches. Spirit is the first to launch. And there's Robert and Lee going to catch us some fresh fish for the restaurants. Too bad, enough water to straighten it out. And it seems to be that's gonna be a wet one. That's gonna be a wet no Walter is still waiting for it. All that power, look at that power. And he rides it like a, a jet ski. Nicely done, Walter. Answer not taking, wasting any time. The launch master seems to be on leave. Okay, the next to launch is Wave Dancer. Or is it now Robert E. Lee?
It looks like Robert E. Lee. Yep. Not Robert E. Lee. and making sure that everybody is safely secured on the deck. Gonna count the seats. Launch master picking up reps on the tracker. Warren starting the two powerful Suzuki 200s. Another Jeremy Clarkson moment, yeah? Ooh. Gentleman time. Big set standing up, so Warren is waiting. Robert E. Lee getting closer. On the other side, Charter One has got its customers getting ready. Mike is telling Bar and he has to go first, I think. I don't understand the hand signals, but they're communicating. Okay, Baron says it's a launch. It's a go. He says speed up, speed up, bring me speed, bring me speed. Run with it, 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 into the water. He says that's fine, I've got enough water. He's going to use the boat of a trim, an eye trim. Just keeping the nose straight, and that is exactly the one I was telling the customers about. Barrett is going to get over it nice and dry. Ah, if you count the sets right, and these got traction, onto the power, and out it goes. Well done, Barrett, tight lines. And we've got Robert E. Lee on the run here. the feet of the tractor wet. The tractor owners don't like that. It's heavy, heavy on the maintenance. Mike is going to have to splash that one over his crew. Nope, not too bad. That one is going to be a little bit nasty, but he's turning south. Going to come around it. Nicely done, Mike. These guys are so experienced, they've been doing so many... Oh, that one is an un unwelcome side one. They've been doing it so many days a month. That it's like a walk in the park for them. There you go, Mike. Nice fishing. Tight lines. They're now testing the 2250s here. Making sure they start and running fine. It's now the hookup of the roller coaster effect. Because um, we uh, Riding God's roller coaster here, Bernard tell him come down a little bit closer, a little bit slow.
and he tell him be careful for the launch master to be patient the curlers is coming in from the back and it's those uh, curlers coming from the back that makes the customers go all wet they're not too big for the boat to handle um, it's actually a very pleasant ocean at the moment but Werner wants to do it as uh, dry as possible okay you need that water to get the boat, the heavy laden boat over the lip. Oops, are they still locked on? Oh, they disengaged. Water for the two two fifties. They're not even eating sand, and they got lots of traction. It's going to be a little splash. No, Bernard got it nicely over that one, and he's got a flat ocean in front of him. As I said it before, experience counts. Bernard has been doing it for so many days, so many times a day for the past 17 years Advantage Charter 3 purposely built for this shore dump scenario little bit of a heavy boat 4x175 Suzuki 4 strokes pushing it needs as two tractors in the lineup Numzan and Ham to get it up to speed to get it over this lip but um, there's a lot of water to float so it shouldn't be a problem Donny built the boat he skips the boat and he's been doing this for 30 years first started as a charter operator on an invader and then he upgraded to butt gates and then he decided he needs boats that's more custom built for his operation and started building his own boats sometimes Charter 3 doesn't like the side wash and then those days him and Numzan is conspiring together Numzan will battle to find a gear or well the right gear and then uh, Donny ends up sideways in the sidewash but with a big boat like that with a high nose it's normally not a problem just an inconvenience mm, Nimzan sounds great this morning they've done a lot of upgrades on the electrical system on the gearbox and it's just by the sounds and the movement of Nimzan it definitely paid off he's right there on the button right there on the button and now hump needs to get in the lineup in the back Oof, I mustn't miss this what a beautiful sound the full 175 is going to start up and they start so easy okay that's advantage shot the three going can so many year nooms are not battling for the gears scratching around to find the gears you can hear him roar at full power what a beautiful unhook there Donny working the 4175s hard to get them away from the sand they trim high they don't getting in the sand there's enough water for them and there's some full traction there 
just look at that boat. Just look at that high nose. Oh, that was a little bit wet, but lab. But nothing reached the customers. Well done, Donny. Well done, Minzon. Well done. And that is the uncle that sorted out the problem. Thanks, uncle. I don't need whiskey for breakfast today. Now it's time to look for the fi at the fishing predictions for tomorrow for um, Mopelon. St. Lucia, First Rocks, Mission Rocks, Cape Vidal. Doesn't look good, but a bad day of fishing is better than any good day at the office, they say. I don't know. Fishing is my office. Fishing predictions brought to you by St. Lucia Tours and Charters. Lake cruises and whale watching. It's going to be quite a windy day today and a um, oh, hot one as well, it seems. Going to open with 29 kilometers east northeasterly, turning northeasterly with barometric pressure of 1022. Wind speed during the morning is going to be pretty much constant at 32 kilometers an hour barometric pressure is dropping towards midday after midday barometric pressure keeps on dropping the wind speed increases at about one o'clock to 40 kilometers an hour and this is for St. Lucia history Mapelon, Cape Viral, Mission Rocks, First Rocks and just a couple of tuna remember I call it Farki Fang Barent and tuna is like um, Farki Fang. It's a wave dancer and tuna is synonymous here in St. Lucia with each other. And here we've got the troop of rascals roaming around town, raiding our kitchens. They can open a bread bin. So everything in the house has to be locked up. Um, it's terrible. But anyway, they camera shy. Or they know me because I'm normally with Pardet and chase them out of the residential area. We don't want them to become a problem like in the other major cities. But since the South African government declared guava trees invaders, the food source that sustained them through the drought has been eradicated in the wetlands park. So they've got no other recourse than to come into town to hunt for something to eat. This one was drinking water there on the sidewalk. Very brave little young man and very inquisitive somebody's looking for me on whatsapp sorry about that i should put off my data when i do the videos they all drink the nice fresh rain water look at the ticks on that one's back you can't see it on this camera Oh, and here we've got a playful. So guys, please, um, when you're in town, don't feed the monkeys. It is not... It doesn't help them, um, it just teaches them that it's easy food, humans are easy food and uh, they become a menace and a nuisance and a pest worse than rodents and cockroaches because unlike rodents and cockroaches they've got a high IQ 
They are fast learners. And they use their brains against us. That's all that WhatsApp's coming through is the fishing group up. We'll put the fishing group on meat, guys. Sorry. But this is some excellent video footage of the monkeys at play. It's got a piece of piper there with some bread on. And he's trying to get the bread off the piper. But as you can see on the pips, that's right here on the... There's actually enough fruit for them in town to eat from the palm trees, which is also actually exotic. But they don't need to scavenge um, human food. It's just tastier, it's tastier and it's easy carbohydrates. And that concludes the afternoon walk with Pardet and Petrus. Today Frankie Two Socks came along. Just once again want to thank Advantage Crew, St. Lucia Tours and Charters for making possible to do the storytelling videos. Follow us on YouTube and Facebook to get your daily fix of St. Lucia history.